Um, hello, my name is Bart. I'm from the One Percent Club, and I work in MLab. And MLab is in Amsterdam. It's an innovation hub for uh, social ventures who work on in innovative ideas uh, to use technology to have a social impact. Um, so we also sit together and say, uh, discuss like, okay, how are we gonna tell the world that aid is working? And the way it used to be. The way it used to be is that uh, development uh, organizations would say, okay, trust me, you know, we are the experts, we are in the field, we know what we're doing, we're spending your money right, uh, but that is not working anymore. People get more critical and they say, okay, tell me at least what you're doing. Tell me uh, what, what kind of projects you do. Tell me what the results are. And even that is not enough. Uh, people say, can you show me? Can you show me what the results are? Can you show me what's the, the impact on the lives uh, in the development countries. Um, and we want to go one step further. We say there is a whole new generation, we call it the, the Involve Me generation, and this uh, generation is living in, for example, Kenya, or it's living in India. And they say, you know, aid is about us. We live here, uh, this is uh, our situation, we are experts on, this, uh, on these issues. Why don't you ask us, you know, why don't you involve us and, uh, let us tell if aid is working and how it's working. And there's also a whole young ge new generation around the world who's been traveling and who has been to the, all these countries. And they also have an opinion about it. They also what go what's go goes well, what goes wrong. And they want to offer their expertise and say, okay, maybe we can help. You know, I have some ideas how to improve it or how to brand it better. Uh, so we also want to involve those people. Now, how are we going to do it? The idea is called, does aid work? Let's ask the crowd. Uh, we start for grassroots. So we start, for example, at a health project in uh, Kenya, uh, where Sam and Lynn are both working in a small health clinic. We're going to send mobile reporters there, and they are going to capture their stories. So they're going to ask them, how is uh, AIDS working in this health clinic, and how is it impacting your life? The second step is we're going to put a signboard near this health clinic with an SMS short code where people in the surrounding and people visiting the health center, they can give their opinion about uh, what they think, that how the health center is working, and how it's impacting their lives. Third step, in the, we're going to do an interactive mobile-based survey in the whole area. We can send out SMS, interactive, and we can ask them questions. So what do people think about health, how it's changing their life, uh, uh, what's the impact? Fourth step, um, it's really important, uh, we're going to do uh, cross-media campaigning in the country itself. We're going to start in Kenya, we're doing a pilot. And we're going to uh, discuss these results of, of the surveys. We're going to discuss them on the radio. And we're going to ask people to send in uh, emails or tweets or discuss on, on Facebook what they think about uh, these results and how they, how they experience it. And step five, we're going to connect it to open data. You know, there's a lot of uh, open data available. Uh, by the Ministry of Health in Kenya, and we can compare uh, this data to the stories from the grassroots. But we also can also compare it to the open data from the, the, the World Health Organization or the World Bank, and we can see, okay, how is Kenya doing, or this health clinic doing, in comparison with the rest of the world. And step six, and that's the most challenging, where we need your help. <laughs> is that we're going to build one dashboard, very interactive, where you can zoom in and zoom out. So you can see on the macro level, you can see how aid is working, but you can zoom into a real situation and, for example, talk to Sam and Lynn. And Sam and Lynn can talk back to you, you know, they can say, okay, we, these are our challenges and we need your help. We need your help in expertise or maybe a little bit of money. And so you have a one-on-one -on -one connection between the people here and the people there. Um, so what's wrong breaking about it? It's uh, we use a multiple viewpoints, so not one pre viewpoint, but we use the wisdom of the experts and the wisdom of the crowd. And it's completely bottom up. It's open, so we offer the data available, and everybody can form their own opinion about it. Uh, and it's real time. Normally you do monitor evaluation after the project is finished, or after two years after the project is finished, but this is real time. You can follow what's happening. Um, and it's not just an idea, we have working software, <laughs> we've been working on this for five years now, and we have all kinds of tools to gather this information from a mobile phone, and uh, using crowdsourcing and crowdfunding to involve uh, a global audience in it. 
and we piloted in many uh, different countries and reached a lot of people. So what's the challenge? We have a methodology, we have the tool software, it's working, uh, we have projects on the ground, uh, we can start a pilot in Kenya. Uh, so we have a lot of data available, macro, micro, we have uh, first person stories. Uh, we got the experience now, it's for five years, but the question is, how is this dashboard going to look like? And how are we going to package this as one product? Um, so that's our question to you. You know, we are the first generation sitting here together uh, and we have all the tools and technology and knowledge in our hands to have a global conversation. So our question to you is, how are we going to make this global conversation happen? Thank you. Um, all right, so we have um, GI.